Okay. I should look good in this. We are such self-conscious creatures, aren't we? I don't think I look good. I got to the Inoyasha. Kirara, Kilala, beanie hats with the ears from Amazon. Welcome to Blur's Diary Ketchup, where I catch you up with what's been going on in my life. Not an egomaniac saying that, but I'm just saying that I document my life. I have to. I have to have a voice. I have to have a testimony. It has to happen. There's no ego here. I am humble. I came up with a theory that makes every human being equal to everybody else. You know what it is? Wait, hold on. I forgot it for a second. It's this. It's that any one of us could have ended up in anyone else's shoes. You know why that's a fact? Because we're not in charge who we are born as. And then circumstances like parents, uh, genetics, genetic codes, the genome, I think it's called, if it doesn't I sound like an idiot, the genome, environment, circumstances, influences, friends, all that stuff. Born with physical problems, everything. Dictates who you are today, the person you are today, if you strayed. Alright, I got way off track here. Diary catch up. This is the first day. I'm out of the psych ward again. But I am more sane than most human beings. And I'll tell you why. Because I know some truths. We live on it. Holy cow, I just blew this whole thing, didn't I? I messed it up. Diary catch-up, but that's what it is. You see, there's no editing here. What you see is what you get. Big news on the horizon. I am starting my hostile takeover of the rap industry. I am going to own every industry. This is a prophecy that I'm talking about. A psychic prophecy that I've been talking about for a long time. Film industry, rap industry is mine. Not right now. A couple years from now. That's what's going to happen. Under the moniker. They call it moniker, right? Berserk bonkers. So I just got out of the psych unit. Alright, I got to show you some stuff. I hope this gets all me. Okay. The main thing that stands out about my hospital stay... I gotta tell you about a nightmare that has been plaguing me for the past seven years. I'm serious. It never stops. You wanna know what it is? Everywhere I go, there's wannabe rappers everywhere. There's rappers everywhere. Everyone's a rapper. Everyone's a freaking rapper. Everywhere I go, everybody is a freaking rapper. It's my nightmare. It's my curse. It's my burden that I gotta carry on my back. Because I know the truth that I'm gonna be best rapper this world has ever seen. I am reinventing the wheel, as they call it. They say, don't try and reinvent the wheel. I'm reinventing the wheel. A futuristic style. I have a plan. I can't say it now, because it's that epic. It's that big. Everywhere I go, there's a rapper, right? No, I can't use up too much time on this thing, so... Alright, there was a couple rappers in the psych ward. Yeah. Right? So... This guy was cool though. I, I, I like this guy. He was hilarious. This black kid, 20 years old, right? He had like, he had the perfect, he looked exactly like Fabulous. Right? He had the shaved head. He looked, I'm serious, he looked exactly like And he would go like this. He, he would have his hands like this all day, like he's ready to spit some gems at you. They had him so medicated. They had this kid so medicated. He was that wild. I thought he had like, uh, I thought he was mentally challenged. They had him on that much medication. And he would be like this. He would just walk all day like this. I think I seen a rapper do this. A famous rapper like. And then he would come up to me. And he'd go. La, 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 la. He would be a passion for music though. I wanted to see him not on all the drugs. And see him spit some, some rhymes. This kid was funny. This guy was funny man. And then you go through the... He was so drugged up he couldn't run at all. <laughs> and he would do... Oh, I can't show you the Michael Jackson. He would go on his toes like Michael Jackson. Well, 
it was an awesome stay. It was an awesome stay. I love it. I'm knee, knee deep. I'm neck deep in self-help to write self-help books. January 1st, I'm writing my self first self-help book. Also in the psych ward was some romances. For some reason, rehab, psych wards, jails, whatever. People form romances. They say two sickies don't make a welly. Or two illies. Two illies don't make a welly. Or two sickies don't make a welly. Okay. So there was the station. It's very simple. So tomorrow I started again, but I'm driving. What I'm saying is, after that I needed to take a break. Then the church disowned me once they seen what I do on the internet. I was a teen counselor at the church. Boom, I made it through police check, police background checks. A DVD where you had to watch about child molestation, a horror DVD. I made it through all that, but then when they Googled me, you know, you might want to Google people, you know, right? But I thought everyone knew, but it, it hurt when I was disowned like Frankenstein from the church. I was banished from the church. That's how it felt. Then I ended up, ended up, I relapsed one day on drug. Then I called 911, thought I was going to have a heart attack for like three hours. Yup, I faced some death in my life. That's why I'm blur. That's why I tell you the afterlife is real, because I've... It brought back to life so many times had the death cloud over my head. So I was in the psych ward. 